Audio and sound effects in this video were created using audio.com. Use the link in the description to get 10% off. Hello everybody, welcome to Filmmaking Today, Boyan Dilovic here. So, are you looking for some awesome wireless microphone system thing? Stay tuned. Alright guys, so before we get going to usual housekeeping, this product was sent to me by the company free of charge for this review. However, as always, they have no influence on this video. They're not reviewing it before it's being published and all the opinions you're going to hear are my own. So, let's go. This is the Star 500, a wireless microphone system by Kate Fo. It comes with one receiver and two transmitters with the range of up to 120 meters. These are dual transmitters with 48 channels, stereo or mono output, and a low cut filter. The battery on the receiver lasts for 7 hours and 8 hours on the transmitter. The transmitter has an SD card slot for audio backup and a built in mic. Now let's see what comes in the box. You'll get a small and portable carry case to store everything. Inside you'll find a receiver, two transmitters, manual, two lav mics, two dead cats, cable to connect the receiver to a camera, cable to connect the receiver to a phone, and a charging cable. Now let's take a look at the hardware. On the receiver you'll find an LCD display. On one side there are plus and minus buttons and a USB-C port for charging. There's a clip on the back to attach it to a camera, a set button on the other side, and on the top there is an on off button, line out, and headphone jack. On the transmitter, there's also an LCD display on the front, plus and minus buttons on one side, and also a USB-C port for charging. There is a clip on the back to attach it to your shirt. There is a set button on the other side, and an SD card slot for audio backup. On the top, there is an on-off button, a built-in mic, and mic input. To turn on the receiver, push the on-off button on the top for a few seconds. To go through the menu, use the plus and minus buttons on the side. To select any of the features, push the set button for a few seconds. If you want to mute the mic, push the on-off button once and to turn off the device, push and hold it for a few seconds. The same goes for the receiver. Push the on off button for a few seconds to turn it on and use the plus and minus buttons to go through the menu. Now let's see what the mic sounds like. All right guys, so I'm outside right now. I'm in my usual setting, a big park. You got uh, trees over there. There's a street behind me. So you hear sometimes cars, all that stuff. And right now I'm using the uh, built-in mic right here. And uh, this is what it sounds like. Recording level on the mic is uh, six and uh, I got uh, minus 12 on my camera right now. So this is what that sounds like. I have no filters on, nothing. Uh, no low cut, nothing. And um, I'm just going to be quiet for just a little bit so you can hear my surrounding noise. Okay, so that's what that sounds like and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back in the same spot, same settings, except this time I have the low cut filter turned on, still using the built in mic. And uh, this is what that sounds like. So I'm just going to be quiet. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back now. I've got, the, this time I've got the dead cat on and the low cut filter is turned off. And this is what that sounds like. All the other settings are the same and same location, obviously. So this is what that sounds like. I'm just gonna be quiet for a little bit. Okay, let's be right back. All right, so right now I got the lav plugged in and it's right here. And uh, so this is what that sounds like. Um, all the other settings are same, no low cut filter. So this is what that sounds like, same location. And I'm just gonna be quiet again for a little bit. Okay, so that's what that sounds like. All right, so here we are back in the studio. Uh, I am wearing the mic right here using the lav mic. And um, yeah, so all in all, this is a pretty sweet mic. It's got 
a lot of features actually, which I appreciate. So you can, you can change the frequency. You've got the low cut filter. Uh, you've got the SD card that you can use for backup. So there's really uh, not a lot of bad things to mention about this. The only thing I could mention, so quality wise, first of all, you've heard it. I think it sounds pretty decent. I think it's, it's definitely usable for professional environments, no doubt there. Um, the only thing that I think could be improved a little bit more is the menu. So right now, if you want to change anything, you have to hit um, um, either the set button or you can go up and down. And then, you know, you, you select whatever you want and then you hit the set button again and then you make the changes and then you hit the, I think it's the off button to get out of it. So it, it, it's a little bit... Um, uh, you know, kind of all over the, not all over the place, but it, there's just too many buttons uh, for certain things. Um, for example, if, if I want to quickly change the recording levels, that should be quick to get access to words. Um, so uh, stuff like that, uh, because sometimes if you're on the go, you know, you may need uh, to quickly adjust those levels. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't see reason why that couldn't be changed with a firmware update. But other than that, I think the mic is fine. The quality is fine. Um, oh yeah, the only other thing, which is pretty common with these mics, I wish it was a little bit smaller because if you are using the built-in mic and you're gonna have it probably somewhere here, you know, you want these things to be incognito, to be invisible. You don't wanna draw attention to it. Now I get it obviously from the company's perspective, it's a branding opportunity, right? So. I understand it. They want to brand their product. They want you to see what it is. But for us, we just want to hide it, right? So that's always a challenge when you use built-in mics, which I don't like to use anyway because the lab mics are usually better in quality. Um, so yeah, that's another thing, um, which like I said, a lot of them have that problem. So yeah, outside of, uh, of these two things, perfectly usable mic. I think uh, it can be used for professional environments, it can be used for, for inter interviews one-on-one, -on -one, YouTube, this kinds of a thing. Absolutely, no problem. And uh, I think you're gonna have a good time with it. So um, as always, links to everything will be in the description, so check those out. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, tell your friends all that good stuff, and stay tuned for more. Thanks.